What is up y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me on today's video. We're doing something a little different today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to throw a cast net. And uh, a cast net's gonna be an important tool for you to have in your uh, repertoire. Um, just cause you know, live bait is better than any bait you can use. If you can catch your own live bait, a lot of times you'll have more success catching fish. So with a cast net, you'll be able to catch, depending on the uh, size of the mesh, you'll be able to catch your own bait of all different sizes. Um, and it really, really is a big advantage uh, when you're out on the water fishing. So I'm gonna show you guys how I throw a cast net. Super simple, easy way to go down to, you know, a local beach, little rock jetty up here. You can throw it out, catch your own bait, you know, bring a bucket along and uh, be ready to hit the water with that. So we'll go ahead and get into the video and I'll show you guys how I do it. So the cast net that I use is the uh, cast net from Placino. They make a really good cast net. It comes in this really handy uh, carrying bag. Um, also comes with a tutorial to show you guys step-by-step -step how to throw a cast net. Um, so if you guys end up getting this cast net, uh, if you look at the link in the description of this video, you can get 20% off. So I'd recommend checking that out. But uh, tutorial is great, but I'm gonna show you guys how I throw it. So go ahead and open the cast net up here and uh, it's a zip bag. So you can kind of just unzip it and the cast net's right there, ready to be pulled out. So we'll go ahead and take this out and I'll show you what this net is all about. Um, they've got various sizes. So the uh, more experienced you are with throwing a cast net, the larger size you'll be able to throw. If, you're, if you've never thrown one before, you're probably gonna wanna get a smaller cast net. They're generally easier to throw. So when you first look at this, it might be a little intimidating if you've never thrown one, and you might be thinking to yourself, you know, how in the heck does this catch fish? But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, but the different parts of it, you're gonna have your leader line here, uh, which is gonna, you know, when you throw your cast net out, you'll be able to bring it back in with this leader line. And then I really like the design that Placino came up with, with um, this ring right here. So this is gonna help the net open up in a circular, you kinda want it to look like a pancake uh, when you throw it. Um, and then like I said, this is a 12 foot net. So it has a 12 foot, um, 12 foot diameter, six foot radius. And when you throw it, you want it to open up and land like a pancake, just a giant circle. And uh, these weights at the bottom, they're gonna help it sink to the bottom and trap any bait fish, um, anything you're trying to catch. You know, those weights are gonna sink fast to the bottom, trap the fish in, and then when you pull it, the uh, net closes in on itself and anything that you catch is gonna be trapped in the net itself. So I'll go step by step and show you guys how I throw my cast net. So you're gonna wanna take the wrist strap and thread it on, that way you don't lose your cast net when you throw it. And then I like to go about arm's length, maybe a little shorter than arm's length coils, just to lay it in my hand. You're just gonna lay it, keep layering it in your hand until you get down to the end. And then once you get down to here, where you've got these, um, this line that runs through the middle of the net, you're gonna grab the uh, disc, pull it up, make sure there's no tangles, make sure everything's sitting nice and sound. And then you're just gonna grab right underneath of it. So yeah, I have all my line laying in this hand. I'm gonna grab and lay the net right here. And then I'm gonna grab about halfway down, halfway to a third of the way down, depending on how, you know, you're gonna find your preference after you start throwing this for a little bit. So now I've got the net in this hand. It's all nice and, you know, set, not tangled at all. And I'm gonna grab one of the weights. And what you wanna do when you get to this point is, you know, just kinda, Make sure that nothing is tangled on itself. Make sure the net's free to open up when you toss it. So if, once I make sure that all that is good, I'm gonna take um, a weight from the bottom and uh, in between two weights, I like to put a piece of the net in my mouth. It helps it open up a little bit better and I'll show you guys how that works. But I'm gonna just set this in my mouth and I'm gonna go one, I'm gonna go one, two, three. Get a few of those weights over my left arm. When you throw this cast net, you gotta get some force behind it. So you're gonna spin, take a step and throw all in one motion. And I'm gonna let go with my right hand out in front of where I'm trying to cast. And then with my left hand, I'm gonna hold onto the net and it's gonna be the last thing to let go. So as I throw the net, I'm gonna pull down hard with my left hand to spin this net and it'll really open it up. So I'll do a couple demonstration casts and show you guys um, a few different angles for how this looks. But the biggest thing with throwing a cast on it is you just have to practice. A lot of times when you start throwing it, it's not gonna open up on your first attempt. It's not gonna open up on your 10th attempt. You're gonna have to throw it, you know, 
50 times, 100 times before you really get this down to where you can be consistent and open up the net every time. So for some reason, the audio in the video cut out in all the clips from this point forward, which is unfortunate, but that's okay because I'll be able to voice over and tell you guys exactly what I was doing. So right here, I'm getting ready to throw my cast net and the area that I'm throwing it in is uh, two rock jetties that come out to a point. Right here, I'm gonna coil up the line of the cast net into my hand evenly. Um, once I get all that laid in, I'm going to pick up the ring and make sure that there are no tangles or snags or debris in my net. Make sure it all looks nice and clean. And then I'm going to again grab the top of the net just below the ring, lay it into my right hand again with the coiled uh, net line. And then also grab about halfway down, lay that in, put the bottom of the net in my mouth, and then string a little bit of it over. And then I'm going to walk out to the area that I'm going to throw the cast net in. You want to have your net ready to go. Um, before going into the area, just in case you happen to have a school of bait fish swim right by you, you wanna be ready to throw the cast net. And when you're throwing this, like I said before, you really gotta get some force behind it. You don't wanna just kinda lackadaisically toss it out there, the net's not gonna open. You really gotta swing it back and give it a really good toss to get it to open up like that pancake that we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a toss here. And you wanna make sure to not throw it too close to the rocks because if it gets snagged on the rocks, you know, it can tear the net fish can get out, but right there, the net opened up perfectly just how I wanted it to, and we're gonna let it sink to the bottom. It's only about you know a foot and a half deep right there, so it's not gonna take long, and then I'm gonna pull it in, and any bait fish or fish that I've caught should be in the net. So as we pull it up here, we can see that I have one fish in the net, so the cast was a success. I've also got a lot of seaweed, and that looks to be a little croaker. Over the past few years, there's been a lot of small croaker. We haven't seen those larger fish show up in quite a while, but I'm um, going to go ahead and pick the ring up, makes it nice and easy to drop everything out of the net. You can see I caught some jellyfish, a lot of seaweed, and that little croaker. One thing that I should have done before throwing the net was to fill my bucket up with a little bit of water. You always want to bring a bucket with you, whether that be, uh, you know, just a generic bucket like this or a minnow bucket or some type of bait bucket. That way, when you catch your fish, you can put them in there and have them ready to go. Uh, they're not sitting out and potentially dying on you if you're planning to use them for bait. So I was not planning to keep any fish today, but just for all intents and purposes, I'm going to put a little bit of water in it and then show off this nice little croaker that I caught. He's too small to use for bait, so he's going to be going back, but still a cool catch and we're gonna toss the cast net around and see if I can catch some more fish. So we're letting him go. He's gonna swim right off back to where he came from. So these small bait fish really like to hang out near these rocks. Again, they've been pushed out to the ends of them because the tide is pretty low. So I'm sneaking along here and I'm gonna throw my cast net right next to the rocks, opened up perfectly, let it sink, and I'm gonna pull it in. And I actually caught some cool fish on this toss right here. So I'm pulling it in and we're gonna go up to... Uh, the beach and you can see that I've caught a bunch of little fish. So we're gonna go ahead and get my bucket, which already has water in it this time. And we're gonna empty the net right into that and we're gonna see what I got. So once you give the net some good shakes, all those fish should fall down to the bottom and right into the bucket. And we're gonna start looking and seeing what I got here. First off, we've got this spot, which is a perfect live lining size. This is about a little four inch spot. And these rockfish that are in the Chesapeake Bay love to eat these. They call them rockfish candy, perfect bait. So if I was going rock fishing, I'd probably try and keep a few of those, but we're not keeping any today. So he's going back. And I caught another one, which is about the same size, maybe a little smaller. Um, if I was live lining again, he would get inhaled by a big rockfish. So two spots so far. And then we got another little croaker like the one that I caught in the first toss. So too small to keep, but still a cool catch. And he's going back. And then the surprise catch, this is something that I have not seen in my area of the bay in a while, is a black drum, which I was not expecting to catch. So really cool to see him when you get into the late summer months. It's been really hot. Uh, we're almost into September. Uh, a lot of migratory species move up into the bay. We see a lot of juveniles. So uh, the black stripes on him give it away. That's a small black drum. And there's actually been a lot of small puppy drum in our area right now. We're actually catching more small puppy drum in the 8 to 12 inch range uh, while perch fishing than we are perch. So those little small puppy drum or red drum, as many people call them, have invaded the shallows. So there might be some small black drum moving in. It's crazy to think that this little small black drum, which is having trouble figuring out where to go, uh, can get up to, you know, 70, 80, even 100 pounds. But it's really cool to see the diversity in the fishery of the Chesapeake Bay. 
So that's the basics of throwing a cast net. Again, I highly recommend you guys get one if you are serious about your fishing. Uh, it just opens up a lot more options and live bait is the best bait. Um, in most circumstances, live bait will catch fish. So you definitely wanna have a cast net as a tool that you know how to use. And again, they're handy to have with you no matter where you're at. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Again, I am sorry about the audio cutting out, but I'm doing my best to try and show you guys how to throw the cast net. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content lately. If you have and you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. We're approaching that 10,000 subscriber mark and I'm trying really hard to hit it by the end of the year. So I really appreciate you guys that have been here for a while. Also wanna thank the new viewers, the people that have been checking out the channel recently. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video, leave some comments for video ideas or tips or tricks or anything that you want me to cover. Or even just check in, tell me how your day's going. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. I really, really do. So keep that up. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for some more awesome content.